Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Said Muhammad Safwan bin Zaid Faisal. My metric number 22240555. We are here to talk about the International Business Division that has been charged by the Mami Double Decker Stadium Berhad, a company that has been di- delivering high quality culinary goods since its foundation in 1971 in Malaysia. We will be investigating and breaking into new market for its signature product, Mami's Instant Noodle Biryani, in the United, in the United Arab Emirates. In response to the globalized business environment, we are exploring new markets. This is a thrilling time for us as we see the global instant noodle market experiencing exponential growth. Instant noodles are gaining popularity worldwide. We are seeing that this is a golden opportunity for Mami Double Decker to expand and reach new horizon. With our strong foundation and the booming market, we are poised to make significant strides in reaching more customers globally. As for the selected market, Mami Double Decker hopes to launch its instant noodle biryani in the United Arab Emirates, capitalizing on the country's thriving economy, diversified culture, and a populace that enjoys trying out new foods. With support from an analysis covering distribution, con- consumer behavior, market trends, competition, laws, and other obstacles, this presentation highlights the critical elements of winning a market entry plan. The International Business Division will use the insights gained to help launch and establish Mami's internal branding in the United Arab Emirates. That's all for now. Now I will pass this presentation to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum, my name is Ahmad Behki bin Ahmad Bezawi. My metric number is 221242591. And for this part of presentation, I will be sharing about the overview company analysis for Mami Sinan Berhad. So, Mami Sinan Berhad is a leading player in global food and beverage industry. They are committed to growth, innovation and long-term value creation. Mami aims to excel prioritizing higher sales and profits. They are also dedicated to creating enduring value, surpassing short-term gains for sustained success. Mami aspires to be a global producer of beautiful healthy food and it also strives to integrate into people's daily lives, fostering love and enjoyment across cultures. It also emphasizes trust, openness and responsibility in business practices and demonstrates a strong work ethic and commitment to task. Now I'll be talking about the MAMI value chain analysis which consists of two points which is the primary activity and support activity. Now I'll be talking about the primary activity. So MAMI excels through its value chain analysis dissecting critical activities driving global success in the food industry. So we're going to street for point number one which is inbound logistics. So, it is efficient purchasing processes and robust supplier relationships ensure top quality raw materials for MAMI. And also, agile response to customer needs demonstrates adaptability in the inbound logistics strategy. Second is operation. Operations are central to MAMI's success with technologically advanced factories in multiple countries. Investments in new technology underscore their commitment to delivering high quality instant noodles. Next is outbound logistics. Global success is attributed to a well-structured distribution plan involving efficient shipping and strategic warehouses. And also, MAMI ensures products are readily available to consumers worldwide through effective outbound logistics. Next is marketing and sales. Noteworthy strategy in selling instant noodle biryani in the UAE featuring creative branding and innovative advertising. Mami strategically places products for sales demonstrating a comprehensive marketing and sales approach. For the last point is service. Beyond product sales, Mami prioritizes customer satisfaction through accessible support and warranty services. And engaging initiatives, post, purchase contribute to the creation of strong and lasting customer connection. Now I'll be talking about the MAMI's support activities, which consists of four crucial pillars, which is, which is firm infrastructure, human resource management, technology development, and procurement. So we're going to start with firm infrastructure. MAMI's evolution from a local noodle maker in 1971 to a global brand showcases strategic intelligence and toughness. The company's history forms a resilient backbone, positioning them consistently ahead in the competitive market. Next is Human Resource Management. Recognized as one of Asia's best workplaces in 2023, MAMI fosters a friendly and fun work environment. Also, prioritizing employee well-being contributes to a happy and productive workforce, aligning with the company's core values. Next is Technology Development. MAMI emphasizes creativity through technology development, exemplified by the introduction of MAMI Chef in 2012. Ongoing investment in research and development ensure innovative products that set market trends. Lastly is procurement. Quality is paramount for MAMI. Beginning with meticulous procurement processes, the company selects top quality ingredients and builds strong supply relationships, ensuring excellence in their product. And now I will be talking about the strategy formulation. So strategy formulation involves setting a company's direction and allocating resources for goal achievement. So MAMI demonstrates standout component in their strategy formulation. So in the international scene, Companies can adopt either a multinational or a global strategy, each with distinct characteristic. So I'm gonna talk firstly is multinational strategy. MAMI employs a multinational strategy operating in over 80 countries, including key markets like Jordan, Australia, Thailand, and Singapore. Tailoring the approach to each market's unique need allows MAMI to successfully navigate cultural and economic differences. 
Next is global strategy. MAMI's global strategy embraces industry 4.0, investing in high-tech innovation such as automation. With a focus on consistency and uniformity, MAMI positions itself as a technologically advanced and competitive player in the global food and beverage industry. Next is corporate level strategies. MAMI utilizes growth, retrenchment, stability and combination strategies to navigate diverse industries. We're going to go with point number one, which is growth strategy. MAMI's aggressive growth involves innovation, expanding the product portfolio and global presence in over 80 countries. Next is retrenchment strategy. Facing challenges, MAMI adopts a retrenchment strategy focusing on cost reduction and supply chain in strengthening. Next is stability strategy. MAMI emphasizes stability by focusing on core food and beverage manufacturing, leveraging industry 4.0 for efficiency. Next is combination strategy. MAMI combines growth and stability, releasing new products globally while investing in high-tech production technology. Next is business level strategies. MAMI excels in three strategies, which is low-cost leadership, differentiation, and focus. So we're going to go with low-cost leadership. MAMI reduces costs through scale, providing competitive prices without pro compromising profitability. Next is differentiation. MAMI stands out with a diverse and innovative product range, emphasizing uniqueness and quality. Lastly is focus. MAMI targets specific market segments like health-conscious individuals with products such as biscuits, showcasing the power of catering to distinct needs. Lastly is organizational structure. Top of the pyramid, headquarters, responsible for strategic and coordinating functions. And next is primary divisions. Number one is Asia Division, manages operation in Indonesia, Singapore and Hong Kong. For Europe Division, coordinates function in France, the Netherlands and Czech Republic. Next is North and South America Division, takes charge of operations in Canada and Cuba. And for Middle East and Africa Division, they focuses on Iran, UAE and Oman. So, MAMI structure ensures strategic coordination and operational control, fostering success in diverse regions. That's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Okay, thank you Ahmad Bahaiki. Assalamualaikum and uh, hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Iskandar Zulkarnain bin Shahruddin. My metric number is 2212426856. And I'm going to continue the presentation for the second part uh, of uh, company analysis. So we are going to start with the business operation. Okay, uh, Mami Double Decker stands as a powerhouse in the food industry with sim seamless uh, distribution network, uh, network and uh, innovative R&D and a strong commitment to the quality assurance. Their strategic marketing and manufacturing prowess and international presence reflects uh, their, the dedication of a rising world of good taste. Okay, and from uh, Lucky Instant Noodles to the Double Decker Crackers and Mr. Potato, uh, Mummy Diverse product line satisfies varied customer craving. And with the focus of fresh idea and health conscious option like Nutrigen, Mummy uh, continues to lead with excellence and innovations in the global market. Alright, so, so we are moving next to the SWOT analysis. Okay, the strengths of Mummy is obvi obviously uh, that it has evolved into a globally recognized brand dominating Malaysian household. Alright, so the, the diverse and high uh, quality product innovation and strong uh, customer focus uh, has created a positive image and customer loyalty. But uh, their weakness uh, is the challenge uh, in uh, expanding the international presence uh, such as areas like China because they have over reliance on their core product which poses growth limitation and their opportunities is capitalizing on global rise in the consumption trend okay they are aim to grow the instant noodle market particularly in UAE okay Success can uh, success here can serve as a platform into expansion in in the neighboring uh, region, tailoring uh, approach uh, in uh, other Asian markets uh, can ensure strategic growth. Lastly, their threats is uh, intense competition um, of uh, instant noodle demands, ongoing innovation, okay, fluctuation in raw material prices and exchange rates poses challenge to them. Okay, adapting to diverse cultural challenges and navigating government regulation and conducting extensive research are essential for sustainable growth. Alright, so next we are moving to resource capability analysis for the tangible sources. Mami uh, double decker uh, uh, strength lies in the cutting edge of distribution network production facilities 
uh, and strategic raw material sourcing. Okay, it noodle manufacturing plan uh, and robust uh, distribution muscle contribute to the operational efficiency. And for the intangible product, Mummy cultivate a strong brand image based on trustworthy, uh, trustworthiness and innovation, uh, intellectual property, in, uh, and intellectual property including an uh, exclusive formulas and patterns to protect its fur movers, uh, advantage. Okay, and last but not least is brand reputation analysis. Okay, for the target market, Mami Dabba Reka uh, strategically target uh, consumer uh, from ages 6 to 30. Okay, uh, and then uh, the competitive analysis. Okay, uh, it is a fierce competitive ma- uh, market against rivals like Jack and Jill and Nestle. Uh, Mami Dabba uh, stands out through strategic acquisition and innovation and adaptability. Okay, a uh, company not only defend its market share but has become major force emphasizing resilience and diversity in its uh, in its product line. Okay, for the CSR uh, initiative, Mami has CSR campaign which is called Mami's Mami Prihatin CSR campaign. It is launched in 2012 and showcase the company commitment to the social responsibility and they have actively contributing to the charitable causes. This initiative enhanced Mami Double Decker brand image Fostering the goodwill, brand loyalty, and positive public relation. Okay, that is all from me f- uh, for uh, company analysis. I will pass the presenter. Uh, I will pass the presentation to the next presenter. Until we meet again in the next part. Thank you. Good morning and assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Alamin Tizani. My metric, my metric number is 2212-4086. Here I will explore the overview of analysis of industry Mami Double Decker, Sendian Berhai as they embark to the exciting journey of entering the United Arab Emirates UAE market with their innovative products, Mami's Instant Noodle Biryani. It has evolved into a global player and Mami Double Decker, a key contributor since 1971, is renowned for its innovation in creative unique flavors and convenient formats. Today, we explore their move to the chapter, the global appeal, particularly in the UAE with Mami's, Mami's instant noodle brand. Moving on to the current industry trends, we see the surge in global instant noodle consumption surpassing 100 billion servings Annually, Mami aims to capitalize on this by introducing biryani flavor, diversification, head consciousness, and globalization of these preferences are shaping the industry. In the UAE, a growing demand for diverse and culturally rich meal options presents a strategic opportunity. Understanding a customer behavior in the UAE is pivotal. Residents with diverse Palettes with culinary exploration. Convenience is paramount due to the fast, fast-paced lifestyle. Health-conscious choices are on the rise, presenting an opportunity for mummies emphasize on quality and nutritional benefits. Innovation, authenticity, and digital engagement are key for success in this market. Next, let's explore the external factors influencing mummies' entry into the UAE. In the political realm, Stability and poor business policies create a favorable environment. The UAE's diversified economy and technological investments open doors by economic fluctuations must be considered. A multicultural society demands a nuanced approach. MAMI should align with environmental initiatives and navigating legal landscapes, especially halal certification in crucial. Now, let's step into the regulatory landscape of the UAE. Mami Decker, Mami Double Decker must be adhered to stringent food safety regulations by entities like ESMA. ESMA product labeling highest certification and compliance with import or export regulations are imperative. Intellectual property protection and understanding distribution and retail regulation are essential for a seamless entry into the market. In conclusion, Mami Double Decker has moved into UAE Alliance with a global trend and chatters to involve consumer preferences. By understanding industry and customer trends, conducted a true best analysis and navigating the regula- regulatory landscape. Mami is, uh, is positioning itself for success 
in this dynamic market. That's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. My name is Zahira Nasir Binti Maizam, my magic number 2124227229. Today, I would like to present analysis of the advantages and risks of the country. My five export strategy, first advantages, rapid market as a strategy advantages, rapid market provides several key benefits include get a first move advantages, safely exploiting emerging market opportunity and offering expertise in both product diversification and geographical expansion. For example, let's take a look at Mami, a company with the potential to create a first move position in a new market through rapid market by specifically entering and establishing themselves. Mami can capitalize on untapped opportunity setting in stage for long-term success. Next, cost saving strategy. In export or profit maximization or reduce is not just a goal in the system of a business. Elming mean the tree or company export and scale is play to provide role in important exportation efficient to maximize profit. For example, electrician mummy are successful in increase or profit margin by the exporting product in large quality. This is archived to through optimize product process and cooperating. Next is ability to market demand of sustainable success is understand and respond to market demand, a critical component of a successful business strategy. It uh, ensures that product remind the relay in the demand landscape. For example, Mami has demand readable adaptability by tailoring its brandy instant noodle to meet specific demand in of a UAE market. This is not only showcase responsiveness to market trend but also position Mami as a brand that understand to the is a consumer needs. For this, first, impact of traffic and trade barrier on product cost is an imposition of traffic and trade barrier. It's clearly impact cost of efficient companies. Important raw material of initial product. Flow of goods at the border may be higher cost in shipment delay and excluding additional logistic related costs. Next, for distribution, registration and logistic costs is strict regu regulation of import quotas can significantly increase logistic costs for a company like Mami. Companion efforts may force company to see alternative distribution channel or adjust logistic operation, increasing the distribution cost burden. And let's move to third part. Point, third point of this currency fluctuation and pricing strategy is changed in the current value. This the impact product cost, selling price, and company profit. Suddenly, decline in the measuring gain again, trading partner currency, and increase import cost and effect profit margin. For example, Mabel needs to adjust pricing based on currency value to remain competitive in the international market. My next part, manufacturing strategy. First, advantageous quality control through local manufacturing is when we make things locally like Mami Brandy instant noodle, we can be totally exchanged. How it turned out is like Nestle make a Maggi is different place to keep a high quality standard. For example, Mami want to make sure the noodle are always amazing by making the locally that check every step quality to top taste and quality just the Nestle Louis Mami can be pro at this. Next, brand image exchange through local manufacturing is when we make things locally like Mami in the UAE, we can show out loud that our product is helping our local friend and business. This make people feel good about buying our noodle. For example, look at Al Rawabi, dairy company. They made the brand super strong with the show. We of them made in the UAE tech. Mummy can do that, do the same about out the local support and com community they made. They brand shine. Last advantages cost saving through local manufacturing is local, like in the UAE, means we can save money on many things. They're spending on shipping or more focus on making things right here at home. That's we do it for example. Think about it and what the company they save money about making their product locally. Mummy can do that same money on product and use that as a cash to make their noodle even more awesome. For, for this, First, strategy expertise in manufacturing is when we have flexibility in manufacturing is mean we can adjust our plan based on what happens around us. We can stay open to the new added things and tactics and always be ready for a new challenges. For example, remember how products start to film photography. When we digital come in, that is the opposite of being strategy flexible. Mummy can be sm smart and adaptively make sure they don't miss out the changes by staying open to change. Next, cost consider in local manufacturing is money material, right? Cost consider in the locals mind about how to make things without spending too much. It's like making sure our noodles are also without breaking the bank. For example, look at Tesla, that the electric car flow, the face challenging with higher level cost in the US when the local manufacturing is usually good. Mummy can learn from this thinking about very cost to make sure the branding instead of there as a very great deal. Last but not least, employee skill development in training is employee are like the secret source in our noodle, making sure they have the right skill means our noodle will be top notch. It's like giving the superhero training to make the best noodle ever. For example, think about making an airplane when they make 2787 dream line, work hard to learn to new skill. Yeah, it's a cost a bit more but the make the plane super cool. Mummy can invest in the people giving the skill to make noodle that are out of this world. I will pass to next presenter. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you Nasrin. Uh, hello again, we meet again. Uh, so I'm going to continue for the third strategy, which, which is a uh, franchising strategy. So we're going to straightforward uh, to its advantages. Okay, the first advantage is brand awareness. So franchise uh, franchising will leverage Mummy Double Decker well established reputation. Uh, it is similar to how global brands like McDonald expand their presence. The second uh, advantage is local expertise, okay? So, local franchises uh, can provide invaluable insights to the consumer preferences, cultural differences, and market dynamics. And the third advantage is risk sharing. 
Okay, franchise, uh, franchising uh, mitigates financial loss for Mami Double Decker as the product. If the product, uh, if the product doesn't perform as expected, uh, franchises will share some of the risk as well. And for the risk uh, of franchising, the operational cost, uh, operational control loss. Mami Dabadeka may face challenges in maintaining control over marketing and sales, so it will lead to inconsistent brand image and product quality. And uh, the second one is cultural adaptation. Adapting the product to the UAE consumer preferences may be necessary and it could pose challenges across multiple uh, franchises. And uh, the last one is revenue sharing. If uh, While the risk is uh, shared, uh, Mami Double Decker uh, must also share the profit with franchises which will impact the overall earning. So we are moving next to the joint venture strategy. Okay, So for the uh, first advantages of joint venture is uh, shared expenses and risk. Joint venture mitigate financial risk allowing Ma Mami Double Decker to focus uh, on product quality while Lulu Group uh, is an example of joint venture with uh, uh, mummy okay so uh, will lulu group uh, able to handle distribution and marketing okay and then uh, the second advantages is uh, the access to local expertise by leveraging lulu group knowledge uh, it will provide insights to the uh, customer preferences cultural differences and legal requirement and uh, the last one is uh, synergy Combining Mami uh, Premium Instant Noodle with Lulu Group Distribution Networks uh, creates a competitive edge. And uh, for the risk of uh, joint venture is decision-making challenges. Okay, Collaborative decision may lead to conflict and delay in executing plans. And uh, the second one is cultural differences. Variation in business procedure and communication method could affect the success of joint venture. And the last one is profit and control sharing. Sharing profit uh, and decision making may limit Mami Double Decker independent and agility. So for the last strategy, uh, the fifth strategy is wholly owned subsidiaries. Okay, so for the advantages is control. Uh, uh, wholly owned, uh, wholly owned uh, subsidiaries offer unparalleled control, ensuring Mami Double Decker maintain quality and consist uh, consistency in product operation. The second one is financial benefits, uh, access to additional resources and consolidate uh, financial report can lead uh, to improve financial management and uh, uh, resources uh, efficiency. And the last one is operational advantage, direct operation control facilitate efficient planning and execution. It is crucial for the market adaptation. But uh, it also comes with a risk. Okay, The first risk is financial risk. If the subsidiary is underperform, the main business may incur more taxes and loss. And the second one is management challenge. Operating in subsidiary abroad may pose challenges in terms of language barrier, cultural differences and business procedures. And uh, the last one is independence limitation. While control is a strength, Mami Dabadeka may face challenges in decision making and responsiveness. So that is all uh, for the last three uh, strategies uh, uh, on uh, importing uh, on uh, uh, product uh, uh, of Briani Instant Noodle in uh, UAE. So I will pass the presentation to the next presenter. Uh, that is all from me. Thank you for your time. Alright, and Assalamualaikum. My name is Kisi Ozimu Josh, number metric 22230400, and today I will talk about the recommendation of Mami Double Decker. For the first recommendation is partnership with Majid Al Futaim. Mami collaboration with Majid Al Futaim provides instant access to a vast network of well established retail location and distribution channel in the United Arab Emirates. The advantage from the partnership is rapid market penetration. The partnership enables brandy uh, instant noodles to quickly penetrate the market and gain whispered recognition. The second recommendation is partnership with Al Futaim Group. Mami collaboration with Al Futaim Group provides invaluable cultural understanding and customized lo localization techniques for the United Arab Emirates. 
The advantage from the partnership is market insight and customer customization. Alpha time extensive market experience and diverse business interests offer mummy insight into a unique consumer behavior and preference in sector such as automotive, retail, real estate, and finance. The third recommendation is partnership with Amerex and logistic professional. Mummy alliance with Armex and other logistic professional creates an opportunity for efficient logistic and supply chain management in the United Arab Emirates. The advantage from the partnership is cost saving and risk mitigation. The partnership with Amerex and logistic professional has the potential to minimize uh, distribution risk, reduce operating expenses, and optimize supply chain management. The fourth recommendation is partnership with DP World. Mami collaboration with DP World, an organization deeply rooted in the community, provides opportunity to understand government interaction and compile intercases within the United Arab Emirates. The advantage from the partnership is government liaison and compounds expertise. DP World's knowledge and experience in navigating regional law and building connection within the UAE government can significantly benefit the MAMI. The last recommendation is partnership with Etisalat. MAMI collaboration with Etisalat is technologically advanced business provide access to cutting-edge technologies for implementing modern marketing techniques such as digital advertising and online sales platform. The advantage from the partnership is technological edge for marketing. The partnership of Etisalat empower MAMI with creative skill and robust network infrastructure to implement advanced marketing strategy. In conclusion, the analysis underscores the strategic importance of a joint venture for MAMI Double Decker's entry to the, uni to the United Arab Emirates market. MAMI's dedication to innovation it's in line with the UAE's varied culture and strong economy, as seen by its history back to 1971. The study looks into MAMI's industry analysis, exports plans, and core strength. For long-term success in the UAE market, the suggested joint venture plan makes use of infrastructure, risk reduction, and cultural understanding, possibly in conjunction with Majid al Time or Lulu Group. In addition to introducing Mami's instant noodle for Briani, this project establishes the, under, the groundwork for the area's long-term development and prosperity. So, that is all for our presentation. Thank you for your attention.